I'd want to first of all thank Milk for Lush, Milk Foundation for this opportunity that you afford us as First Ladies to make a contribution in the develop, towards the development of our countries. I'd also like to thank you First Ladies for this opportunity that we are meeting, interacting and exchanging ideas. Let me start by firstly sharing with you the Milk relationship with Bubama that the relationship started in 2018 between Merck Foundation and Botswana. In October 2018, Botswana was participating in the Merck Foundation Africa Asia Luminary in Dakar, Senegal, which was the delegation of, made up of the First Lady and the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Because this relationship is taken seriously, even at the very topmost levels, Following the return to Botswana, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has continued engagement with the Merck Foundation, especially through its office in South Africa, which has made it very possible and very easy. And we thank Merck again for the continued engagement. The famous campaign launch. I know Raja is very thirsty for the launch. This is the Merck More Than a Mother campaign, which we also see great benefits that will arise from it although we have not launched. That's why she's so thirsty. We see that the following benefits, society and communities will be able to speak freely about this taboo subject, and hopefully, of course, it will break the stigma surrounding infertility. It will also be an indirect call for the men to come to the fore, because as we often say, infertility is only attributed to the women. We will also be able to emphasize the fact that there are non-expensive practices that may help, such as weight loss, the mindset, exercise, nutrition, and any other prenatal preparations. Because it has been found, actually, that many women are not necessarily infertile, but it was lifestyle, so to speak. Last but not least, this campaign will offer hope to those infertile women to say that it is not the end of the world if you are infertile. You can still be highly valued and it starts with yourself, self-value. I'd like to also share milk training, which again in my country is taken very seriously because capacity building is believed to be at the core of human development. Botswana has taken up the offer for the online diabetes diploma where 10 doctors selected, has, have been selected and enrolled on the one-year online diploma in the diabetes course at the University of South Wales. Diabetes, this diabetes training has been considered also very important because Botswana, like many countries, has been hard hit by NCDs. Other NCDs that have hit us are hypertension, which is also taken seriously because it has led to complications to kidney, relating to kidney. Candidates for training in embryology, infertility and surgical oncology are yet to be selected and Merck Foundation have been given an assignment to check whether they could offer a master's in oncology. It is an ambitious request but it was regarded as necessary given the increasing cases of cancer in Botswana like other places in the world. So far, discussions between the Ministry of Health and Merck Foundation are ongoing, and we are hoping Merck will respond in the positive. Now, my own initiatives. As you may know, I joined the club last year, 1st of April. So I'm actually looking the first anniversary in the eyes, which is tomorrow, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, I decided to miss it. When I saw the dates, because tomorrow my country will be celebrating 365 Masisi. Anyway, despite this anniversary of 365 Masisi, I thought it's very important to come to attend this forum. So my initiatives in the last 12 months, in line with my passion for girls aged 8 to 18, I recently launched an initiative called, in my language it's called Nike and Lady, but it means I am a star, which hinges around life skills and empowerment of girls, where I personally facilitate workshops with young girls. We include the boys, because we realize otherwise we're gonna leave the boys behind. 
I've also been fortunate that some UN agencies have had an appetite for the First Lady. And perhaps it's because of my former role, I used to work for the UN. And you have worked with agencies that were dealing with girls, addressing issues such as sexual exploitation and abuse. And then finally, in my country, as you know, Botswana has been hard, hard hit by, by HIV AIDS. In terms of recorded prevalence, we are the third after Lesotho and Swaziland. And the worrying thing about my country is it's prevalent amongst adolescent girls and young people, the ages 15 to 24. And as we know, those are the very future of our countries. So I work closely with the National AIDS Coordinating Agency in my country. This agency reports directly to the president. So I'll be working with them on the, their initiatives, but I've been uh, given the leeway to also have my own initiatives. And the first one that I've decided to do is I'll embark on a road show during June or July this year. We will travel around the country, villages. Nous allons voyager à travers le pays dans les villages. In a big truck. We'll be singing and there'll be poetry. Hopefully the First Lady will have an opportunity for dancing. Not that there's anything to dance about when it comes to HIV AIDS, but to really send the message forth because these are the young people. Parce que ça, la music and, dancing. and the idea also is in these villages, since we still respect the traditional leaders in my country, stealing from the Merck Foundation idea, to ask the wives of those chiefs to also be ambassadors. Because one of the things that I'm trying to encourage in my country is to make, to make the wives of leaders realize that, that they are also first ladies. Qui sont également les premières dames. In my countries, I've told them that I don't want to be the only first lady. It's very important that we hold this part of face, first ladyship together. I thank you all Je vous for your attention.